Someone was not awake, okay? Uh, yeah, someone got caught sleeping. Yeah, someone was not awakened to something here. That's in the reverse. Why couldn't the leopard play hide and seek? He was spotted. So someone may have gotten called out on something. Someone may have gotten spotted doing something. My silence is a thousand words. So there could be some silence going on. Lack of communication. So like I said, someone could have gotten caught doing something. Playing in your energy. Playing games. Playing runner chaser bullshit, you know. Um, so someone's being silent. Oh. Someone's lack of consciousness or being awake has, like, turned everything upside down. So, nothing seems right side up for someone. It seems like someone's world could be falling apart. Someone is closed off. Because someone chose happiness. Being near you makes me feel less stupid. So, someone chooses to be happy. Someone may have underestimated someone's intelligence. Someone may have thought that they were more intelligent than someone else and they could get something over on them. If you obey all the rules, you'll miss all the fun. So someone could be a rule breaker in this situation. Someone could have chose to step away, back off. Um, they chose happiness, okay? I actually have stuff to do in the reverse. So somebody was lashing out at someone. It had nothing to do with someone actually having stuff to do. Someone was making excuses. So someone got... I just feel like someone got caught playing games, okay? If the ex was good enough, God wouldn't have told me to love my neighbor. Okay. So someone may have been fantasizing or involved in a third-party situation here. Or <clears throat> someone's ex is significant. Maybe someone became an ex and there's a lack of communication, no contact, um, because someone chose to love someone else. Someone may have been pretending that they had something to do or acting as if they were busy or they had stuff to do, but it could have been that they were involved in a third party situation or dealing with somebody else. Okay, and it looks like, you know, um, God wouldn't have told me to love my neighbor. So it's an indication that someone could have stepped out on someone here. And so they were feeling guilty, they made up excuses, they got caught. Yeah, somebody may have thought they were being colorful, maybe they thought, um, you know, they gambled on something. Someone may have thought that something was plain, so somebody took a, a different route, okay? With I actually have stuff to do in the reverse and colorful in the reverse. So somebody could have chose someone plain, kind of boring, or something that was plain or boring or monotonous. You know, the same old, same old. They could be regretting their decision, okay? Someone could have hooked up back with their ex. And they may be regretting that decision. So maybe someone acted like they were busy, they had something to do. But someone could have snuck off and ended up having something going on, you know, possibly with an ex situation or with somebody else. Someone's getting left behind. They may not be happy about this. We have many and up. Okay, so somebody did something too many times to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they were playing games, it didn't have to be many times. It could have only been just a couple times, but that was enough for you to be like, you know what, I'm done, I don't do this shit. It was an energy waste, it was a drain. You know, it was like somebody was just, like, trying to bring you down. Uh, or they did bring you down, and it's just like, you know what, this is just not worth it. I could agree with you, but we would both be wrong. So, you know, there may have been a disagreement. You know, maybe you guys had different viewpoints on something. IRS, we've got what it takes to take what you got. Someone could be having money issues, problems with the IRS. Someone could have acted as if they have more problems than the other person, like it was a pissing contest. But you're grounded, okay? So just because you handle shit well doesn't mean you're not going through shit. It doesn't mean that your problems aren't bigger than someone else's. But someone turned something into a contest. Um, they could have even just lashed out at you because they were having issues with somebody else and, you know, out of boredom or something like that. Maybe they thought it was cute or funny to start some sort of altercation. I kind of warned you guys about starting some shit with this, um, all this solar eclipses and all this stuff going on, and the retrograde and all this craziness, it's not the time to be playing around. So someone chose to be still or something is still, it's not moving, Aquarius could be significant. It's like make no sudden movements kind of energy, like it's reminding me of Jurassic Park when they're like, 
you know, the dinosaur doesn't see you if you don't move. So someone could be really still or something is still, or you're just taking a moment to be still, calm, you know, at peace. Like you could be at peace if you're unbothered, you're grounded. So maybe you just needed to take a moment to be still and not move or take any direction. Someone could have needed to be still and they chose not to instead of, um, you know, thinking before they took some sort of action or spoke. Uh, you know, they caused a problem where there really didn't need to be one, but you're a patient person, so patience. So you're being still because you're patient and you're waiting on divine timing or divine direction. So someone may have been trying to rush you or hurry you up into doing something that you weren't ready to do, um, or vice versa. And you know what? You chose to be still. Maybe this is why you've been single or self-sufficient, independent for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like... Too many people have too much drama going on. So you chose to be still and chose to be patient and chose to not deal with craziness and nonsense. Especially if someone started acting cold or distant or changed up on you. Somebody was consuming, you know, this was consuming time, money, energy, like getting like vampire energy. You know, someone was just devouring up, you know, resources that you didn't need to be wasting on them. I'm just getting an energy drain. There's something significant about family here, so you could just be choosing to focus on you or your family. Your family is what's important. That could be your treasure, you know, that could be what you hold valuable. Somebody somebody could have been trying to play games with you and your family, and you know what, it's just not funny. So, um, whatever this person was doing, it got old really quick. You're sacred. You have sacred knowledge, or you could be viewed as sacred. You may... You know, have the wisdom of the ages here. There's something sacred about you. Um, you. It's like you know how to protect yourself and your energy, and you choose to walk away when you need to. And this was a situation where you just needed to walk away. Somebody was just playing too many games. Um, somebody was trapped, so it's like they wanted to lash out and take it out on you. So if someone tried to put you in a third-party situation, maybe they're not free, maybe you are. And it's like somebody is just... Yeah. Somebody's not free, okay? Somebody was consumed, they were draining, and they're not free. Whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, someone's not free, and they're not free to be with you. So, you know, it's kind of like, what's the point? So you chose you. You could be a masculine or feminine, but you chose you. You chose to walk away from the drama. So commitment, things are getting serious and someone is expecting. So someone could be, um, this could be what is going forward for you. You could be getting ready to go into a commitment. You're expecting a commitment. Um, someone may not be free because they are committed and someone is expecting. So someone could be committed in a marriage and someone could be pregnant. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Okay, so you're focused on family. This is a family situation. So there's a commitment, um, you know, there's a child involved or children, there's pets, there's a home, there's a family. Whether this is something that's getting ready to happen for you or this is something that someone already has and they could have put that in jeopardy. A lost loved one watches over you, honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding. So you could be having this stability coming in for you. This could be future energy here. If you are single, independent, um, you know, you may have been quick to cut someone off who is playing games with you because you're expecting a commitment. You expect no less. Uh, maybe you have a pet or you're going to get a pet. Um, you know, you don't need, if you're a woman or a man, it's like you don't need someone to complete you. You're not codependent. You have lost loved ones watching over you. You're never alone. Okay. And there could be a honeymoon phase here. Um, you know, where there's something new starting. So this could be a new person. You're waiting for something new. You're not dealing with the old shit, old bullshit, old games. This is somebody who would be new. If this is for you and this is your future energy coming in, um, this is what you have to look forward to. And it looks really good. I mean, it looks good on paper or on the cards anyway. So this, this looks like a really good start. So let's jump in here and see. So maybe because you walked away from something, this is kind of like your karmic reward, like maybe you passed the test. <laughs> Congratulations. 
you're being still and you're being patient and you're waiting for the right one, not just anyone. So if someone wastes your time and your energy, you know, you're just like, eh, no, I'm good. So whatever decision you made when you were at the crossroads, it's going to work out in favor, in your favor, if you're in the upright here. Because you're expecting good things. You're working on building a legacy, something long-lasting. Somebody that was cold-hearted may have been shocked by your decision, okay? So someone was not expecting it. So someone was like, whoa, 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 I, I didn't mean to be a cold-hearted prick, but here I am, like, shocked by your decision to not deal with me. Um, someone could be going back and, you know, reviewing something that they said or thinking about something they said, and they're realizing they fucked up, but they didn't expect your reaction, whatever it was. And you're just like, no, dude, I'm cool. Or no, ma'am, I'm cool. Like, no, I'm not into your games. You know, even if somebody was just a friend and you thought something was going to the next level, somebody was just playing too many games with you, it's like they said, and it's like shit off, you know, shit or get off the pot kind of energy. So either someone wasn't available or they just weren't making a move, they were cool with how things were, or it was just a dead end and it was just a complete waste of time. But somebody was shocked about your reaction, they were not expecting a reaction that they got. I'm not getting anything out of that, so... Sometimes I only have one card that comes out, sometimes more than that. We'll see. I don't control the messages and I don't control the cards, I just read them. So I can't help it if nothing comes out, and I can't help it if people don't like the messages that do come out. I'm sworn I saw one that flipped over. If nothing comes out, then I'll move on. Oh, there we go. Feel free to waste my valuable time, I told you. Something was just a waste of time. Something isn't logical, it's just our policy. So somebody had no problem wearing a disguise. They could have been messing around with you on online, social media, something like that. Someone could have been catfishing you, watching you on your platforms, acting like they were someone that they weren't, or, you know, trying to make it seem like they were offering you something that they really didn't have the ability to offer you. It, it's a waste of time. Something is a waste of time, so it's best to just move on and just get on with it. Get on with your life. Whatever decision that you make regarding this, if you choose to make this decision to leave someone behind who's playing games, it's going to work out in your favor, because you're waiting for the right one, and in order to, you know have the new you have to release the old and it could have been a karmic test or something like that that you had to pass did you learn your lessons from before did you walk away when shit wasn't right or something you know was wrong someone's not happy in their relationship so someone could have tried to make you a third party to a situation they're bored in their relationship someone may not be exciting someone may be kind of boring and you let them scratching their butt because they wanted to act like a fool, so you left them alone like a fool. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone was a joker, they're playing games. It's like you have this new start, this new beginning with the joker. It can be an indication of a fool, a clean slate. So you chose to go in a new direction. Someone wanted to play games, and you left them, you know, scratching their ass. It's like, okay, cool, you want to act like you have more important things to do than me, then yeah, yeah, I'm going this way. And they can't believe it. So they, they were shocked. They're left scratching their ass like, wait, what happened? Like someone's, <laughs> they're very confused. Like, wait, 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 that's not what was supposed to happen. They were not the hero that, you know, they needed to be. They could have been in a relationship with someone domesticated here, domestic. You know, they should have been a superhero to who, you know, they were in a domestic situation with. <clears throat> and so they couldn't be their hero. They couldn't be your hero. Um, someone may have gotten accused of doing things for everybody everywhere except for at home, you know what I'm saying? Like someone was not taking care of their domestic responsibilities possibly. Um, there's something significant about Friday. Someone could be falling flat on their face. Um, is it Friday yet? If loving food is wrong, I don't want to be right. Someone could be falling down in their feelings and emotions here. Maybe they do love you. Maybe they do care, but, um, you know... Maybe they didn't realize it, or maybe they were starting to catch feelings, but there's something significant about Friday, and if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. So someone could be 
um, you know, very emotional on a Friday here in the near future or in the future. It's like, I don't care. I just want to love on you. And you're just like, eh, I'm going to stand over here kind of energy. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm good. So this could have to do with an ex. Like maybe you see an ex like every Friday, every other Friday. I don't know. Um, or you just run into this person on Friday. This person could be just trying to run into you to get you to talk to them. And you're just like, eh, I don't really have anything to say at this time. Like, you just, you're over it. You're just over it. Like, you're not mad. You're just, you know, being still, being patient. Like, I'm cool. Yeah, you had a lot of people playing games with you, messing with you. And so it's like... This is not new for you. It's like, it's not your first rodeo. It's not your first day on the job. You weren't born last night, okay? So you've had a lot of people that have tried to play games with you, keep you trapped, keep you stuck, have been a waste of time for you in the past. So you know, you've learned your lesson, okay? That's why I feel like maybe for some of you it was a karmic lesson. You are an official person here. Or someone is. If it's not you, it's somebody else. But there is an official person, so... You know, if you're an official person, you could be high-ranking spiritually, you could be an advisor. And someone could have been trying to play games with you. I mean, it's obvious somebody's wasting your time. Somebody was watching you. So somebody was watching you, playing games, wasting your time. You know, and I keep saying that, wasting time, wasting time. Like, it was just... It's like you have better things to do. You're focused on you, your family. It's like you could be the kind of person that helps other people out. Empress. See, there's a feminine energy here. There's someone here who could have been married. So this could have been a masculine that's married. Um, you know, if you're a feminine energy here, you're innocent. Maybe you're young. Um, you don't have to be young. I'm just saying, like, maybe you just have a young energy about you. And there's a masculine may, maybe that's like, oh, whoa, 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 like, maybe I don't want to be married, or, you know, they took a pause from their marriage, which is not, you know, whatever. Um, but someone tried to come towards you and do some shit because they were possibly bored in their own marriage or relationship. It's like somebody may not want to be married anymore, or somebody considered doing something um, because they were bored within their marriage, or just they're wanting to walk away, but... You know, it's like they can't just up and leave. Somebody was watching with dark intentions. They were trying to hurt you. So there's a masculine who was like, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Let's let's put the brakes on this. And maybe this was either to who they're married to or to you. And you're like, you know what? I'm just done playing games. And so you told this person off. And so someone's throwing a fit. Like someone could have lost their temper and lashed out. There's someone who's trying to scare another person. So it could be a feminine energy that's scary. This could be like wifey energy. Um, and a masculine is trying to figure out how to get out of a situation. So it's like somebody somebody could have felt threatened. This masculine could have been threatened by their wife. If they're in a relationship, there could have been an altercation. And so, you know, um, this person could be dealing with things within their home. But it's like... <laughs> Like I said in the beginning, um, if it's a pissing contest or a swords match, I feel like you would win. Just just because someone's married and created their own problems does not mean that that's your problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing, don't make your problem my problem, okay? So this person is scared of their wife, possibly scared of them finding out that they were dealing with you. So maybe they tried to put down a cool period, but it's like they were going back and forth. But they're trying to figure out how to get out of something. It's like they're trying to find a way out. But they feel like there, there is no easy solution here. Once again, that's not a... That's not, um, you know. Someone else's problems aren't necessarily your problems. Just because they tried to make them to be, right? Yeah, something is over. Death. Something ended. Yeah, you have your own burdens to carry, okay? So, um, Queen of Cups energy. Something ended possibly because of a Queen of Cups situation. Or 
there was a Queen of Cups that put an end to something. Just because it's in the reverse doesn't mean necessarily it's a karmic energy. Just because it's in the reverse, it could just be like what happened. So there's someone here who's heavily burdened, fighting off a lot of battles, fighting off a lot of conflict. So, you know, you could have put an end to something because you're just not dealing with extra bullshit. Like I said, you have your own shit going on. And if this person was trying to bring their drama and their bullshit to you, you cut that shit quickly. Because if you're an official person and you protect your energy, you know that you can't just deal with anybody. So someone was spying on you, watching you, possibly trying to steal something. Um, you know, you had to heal from something. So you're fighting off a lot of shit on your own and healing at the same time. And someone's watching you and spying you, spying on you as this is going on. It's like people won't leave you the hell alone. And you just want to be left alone. You're healing. It's like all these people keep attacking you while you're trying to heal. And they keep ripping scabs off left and right. Bringing up that old shit. You know. And even if it's not someone bringing up old shit with them. It's just like someone. Like people trying to bring those old cycles back over and over. And it's like no nah, man. You've already learned your lessons. Like you're not doing that shit again. That's why there was a ten of swords. You know, someone didn't give you a gift or they withheld a gift from you. They didn't see you as a gift here. Ten of swords. So somebody was not charitable to you. They were not nice to you. They didn't see you as a gift to them. Like you could have, even your time or your energy could have been a gift. You were giving something valuable to you, to this person. And it could have just been love, unconditional love or friendship, something like that. The Queen of Cups in the upright, the Queen of Cups is a very loving and compassionate person. And so this Queen of Cups, if they're in the upright, they had to put an ending to something because someone didn't value you or your gifts that you were giving them. And it doesn't have to be anything of monetary value. Like I said, it could just be your energy, your time, your love, you know, your helpfulness. Someone took advantage of you. And there's someone here who's watching and spying on you that wants to be compassionate and offer you some flowers. You could be a mother figure. You know, you can just be focused on your family and your kids. Or father, if you're a masculine. Now someone wants to clean up a betrayal. It's like, oh, I fucked up. But there's a slippery offer. So it's like, they want to come clean up a betrayal, but they can't offer you the Ace of Cups. This is the Page of Cups. So there's like a message of emotion. It's like someone trying to smooth something over that they fucked up and said that they shouldn't have said. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody may have been in their emotions that day like I said they could have lashed out at you because of problems they were having with somebody else and like I said that's not your problem you're emotionally healed you're balanced you're grounded you you don't put up with that and you don't need to there's no reason for it something was uncalled for something was just uncalled for and they brought themselves under judgment you know because you're the queen of pentacles whether you have money or not that's your mindset that's you you're good with money budgeting you know, um, you could have wealth coming towards you. Somebody just wanted to take it. Some just, they just took advantage of you, man. They just took advantage. Death, rebirth. There's a transformation coming. You, this could have been a, a catalyst for another ascension for you if you've gone through some. It's like you're already awakened and you've been ascending. You've already been leveling up and you've already been learning your lessons. And, you know, there's another transformation that's coming through. Someone may be going through an ascension themselves, an awakening period. Because here we have someone rushing in with some sort of truth. We have a queen of wands in the reverse and a king of swords and a high priestess and an offer here, admiration. So someone may be coming to speak some sort of truth. Maybe they're admiring your courage. You know, how you heal yourself. But we have somebody who is very cold-hearted to someone who's a natural-born leader. And I feel like the Queen of Wands could be this high priestess and it could be the same person as this Queen of Pentacles. Because you're a natural-born leader. Like, the Queen of Pentacles is good with money, management, finances. The, the Queen of Wands would be, like, a natural-born leader, caring, compassionate. So those two go hand-in-hand hand a lot, okay? And 
this King of Swords energy in the reverse goes along with that Tin Man. They were very cold-hearted and unemotional. They didn't take your feelings into account, but they expected you to take theirs into account. So they were very selfish, and they were very draining. It's like that vampire energy. Yeah, there was some sort of communication. So there was a message, Page of Wands in the reverse. So there was a message that was very cold-hearted that someone made to a high priestess. And you're like, fuck you, I'm out. Like, whether you said it nicely or you just thought it, you know, you're just like, nope, thank you very much. But there was a message that somebody made that they wished possibly that they could take back because now they want to rush in. Somebody wants to rush in with some sort of truth after going through some sort of transformation and coming towards you and, you know, expressing some sort of emotions so page of cups someone is like expressing their emotions but it's like the bare it's like the bare minimum it's like they can't offer you this ace of cups because they they're not capable they're not free they're attached to someone yeah they don't get a clean slate with you so you know, whatever chance they had, they fucked that up. Like, their words, if they wanted to cut deep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> if, if that's fine, like, if they were trying to hurt you or lash out at you, like, you know, that's fine, you know, whatever. But, you know, they brought some bad luck upon themselves because they didn't see you as a treasure and they were not compassionate to you at the time and they created this emotional situation. You know, they weren't compassionate to you or whoever they were in a situation with, uh, possibly married to. You know, it's like somebody just wasn't compassionate all the way around. Someone was just very selfish and cold-hearted. And it, it felt like only their emotions were the only ones that mattered. Yeah, they don't get this new beginning. They don't get this new relationship. They don't get this new start with you because of all the bullshit they tried to bring to you. It's like, don't bring that bullshit to my doorstep is the energy I'm getting from you, Divine from her Masculine, you know, High Priestess energy. It's like, don't bring that shit to me. Like, keep your own shit. No, like, I don't need this bullshit. You're like, don't bring that to my door. Don't, no. Yeah, someone's being sneaky. So someone's being stealthy. You're trying to be creative. You know, you could be getting creative with your finances. You could be working on your money. You could be moving in silence. And we have this King of Wands energy here and someone choosing to walk away. So, you know, there was someone who was being sneaky, stealthy. Um, you could be trying to move in silence. And so you're walking away because maybe somebody was spying on you, ga gathering information on you. Um, you know, it's like they were... It was one-sided. Like, you were very open, loving, caring, and compassionate with this person. And they were only caring about whether they could stick their male phallic in you or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wanted to be in their King of Wands energy. Non-committal, you know, hopping around, restless energy. And that's fine. Let them be the King of Swords. Let them be, in a, let them be a lion-ass player. Like, that's on them. You, you're walking away. You're moving in silence. You're taking care of you. Keep doing you. Keep doing you. It's going to work out for you because the commitment and stuff that you want, the, that you're expecting, is going to come from somebody who's not going to play games with you. That's just not how it works. There's a reason why you've been so single for so long. And here's the thing. And this is what's kind of messed up, okay? Hi, Priestess. Um, you know, you've gone through a lot, okay? You've had to do a lot of healing. You may have been single for a long time and someone's still may have known what you have gone through, may have known what you've been through, may have known why you've been single, why you chose to focus on yourself, and they still fucked around and found out. Okay, F-A-F-O, they still fucked around and found out by playing games with you. It's like they were only interested in sex. Nothing more. Financial balance is being restored. So, you know, you're choosing to walk away to bring balance back to your finances. So maybe after you walked away, your finances could have increased, you know, and you could have seen something happen immediately. Like the moment you choose to shut this shit down, maybe something good happened to you financially, whether it's big or small. Um, that would be an indication. Okay. So that, that could be an indication that you made the right decision, the right choice, because you chose to be strong 
you know, the challenge for, you know, this situation is that someone created this emotional situation, but you have the strength, you're strong, and you have the strength to get through it and to walk away when something doesn't serve you instead of engaging in it and dragging something out that you know is a waste of your time. Yeah, someone got a message of concern. So there's a King of Cups here, and there's money coming towards somebody. So there's a King of Cups um, who may have gotten a message of concern that you have money coming towards you or that your finances improved. It's like somebody wants to come towards you. This could be, you know, your divine counterpart. If you're the Queen of Cups, this, or this, you know, this could be somebody else. Um, this could be a divine masculine, your divine masculine. Um, who wants to come in and date you with a Knight of Cups, they want to come towards you with an offer. You know, they have money coming towards them, or you have money coming towards you. You could be in your masculine energy, or, you know, this could be a masculine that wants to come towards you and make you an offer. You know, you walked away from this King of Wands bullshit, and now you have this King of Cups who's like, Hey, baby, um, I'm not gonna do you like that. I'll take care of you, you know? Like, so someone may want to give you some sort of gift, um... You know, I know it's not the Ace of Wands, but it's like somebody may want to come towards you with this offer here. Yeah, someone got this, this King of Wands got this message of concern here, and they were in despair that you shut that shit down. So, you know, if they were playing games, you know, it may have hurt their feelings a little bit, but they created this emotional situation. So, you know, There was a risky commitment, a risky attachment that was bringing imbalance to your life and your situation and to theirs. Okay, you're very gifted and talented, and especially a healer. Healer could be one of your gifts, your ability to heal yourself, okay? It doesn't even matter if you can heal other people or not, but you know how to heal yourself above all. That's one of your many, many talents here. You're very gifted. I'm going to try to keep them in the order they came out. So one of your gifts is your ability to heal, especially heartbreak. You know, you've done your shadow work, you, you've been through the shit. And that's what pisses, you know, that's why you may be pissed off. That's what the energy kind of pisses me off because somebody knew that you didn't deserve something and they still played with you. Like if this was your first time dating in like maybe years or something like that, this person fucked around with you. You know, it's like, go the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? Something is moving forward for you. You know, someone received some unhappy communication, maybe because of your gifts or talents. You picked up on shit. Not only your ability to heal, but your ability to multitask and deal with multiple shit at once, okay? So someone got some sort of unhappy news and communication, but you're so gifted you kept going and you're a fighter. So it's like you have many gifts and talents. You don't just stop at one. You're like a jack of all trades kind of thing. And that's why something is growing, your abundance is growing, you're growing, you don't need to be codependent on anyone else, and that has someone in their emotions, five of cups, someone is very emotional about this, because you don't need them, and you're not chasing after them, and they can't emotionally manipulate you, maybe like they do their spouse, or anyone else, or, you know, other third parties that they've dealt with in the past, whatever, whatever the situation is, is you're not like everybody else, so they can't just use emotional manipulation to, you know try to control you or whatever get you in your feelings because you're watching for this balance and this new start new beginning you're still you're patient you got your binoculars out you know and someone else could be watching for this new beginning too you know if they watch tarot or something like that if they know you have this new beginning coming um or maybe they read cards themselves they could know that this is coming in for you and you have this new start and you're watching for it, but not only are you watching for it and being still and being patient, but someone else is watching with you, whether you know it or not. Someone's watching to see if you've gotten this or not. It's like they got their binoculars out. They've got the zoom lens on. They're like, all right, who who's coming up to their door? Who's pulling in their driveway? You know, who's bringing balance to the situation? Who's going to be their divine counterpart? Because it sure as fuck isn't me. I couldn't make them an offer. I can only offer them the page of cups. And who's going to be their ace of cups? Who's going to make them this commitment? Who's going to, you know, it's like someone's got that, got that scope out with a zoom on it. 
Yeah, someone took some sort of swift action and they fucked shit up, okay? Whatever action they took with this communication or that you took um, communicating something to this other person, you know, that they didn't want to hear. It's like you're watching for something. You could be watching for this money coming towards you so you could know you have money coming towards you. Someone is expecting money. So someone is watching for balance to be restored for this new start, new beginning, possibly an inheritance. Um, you know, it could be a, a large lump sum of money, but you have money coming towards you. You have pentacles coming. Something is abundant and blossoming for you. So someone's watching you get all this new start, you know, like all these new beginnings and they don't get this new beginning with you. I just heard shame on you. Shame on you. Like they should be, someone should be ashamed of themselves for what they did. They really should. you were innocent in a situation just minding your business living your life and someone decided to come and try to be stupid someone was trying to cover up illegal activities as well so that could have to do with you know the mention of money or the irs somebody was trying to cover up some illegal shit and now ex-spouse could be involved in this as well so someone could be working with your ex-spouse to cover some shit up Stop wasting your time. It's a waste of time. If you're waiting on your ex-spouse or someone connected to your ex-spouse to pull their head out of their ass, nah, they're covering for each other. They got each other's backs. Leave them alone. Someone will tell you some important information in the reverse. They slept with someone you know. So they were sleeping with someone, okay? So if they were married, they were sleeping with their wife. That's why they couldn't give you the time of day. And they may f feel guilty about that, but someone feels like you're their true love or... Um, you know, you're waiting for true love, you know, stop wasting your time. You have true love coming towards you. Someone may feel like they fucked up by sleeping with, I mean, it's someone that you know, or someone that they know, it says slept with someone, you know, and they're lying about it or they're not telling you about it. So they probably slept with them, um, fucked up, um, lashed out at you as if it's your fault saying that they need distance, blah, blah, blah. Your true love is coming to you in divine timing. It's coming in divine timing. You're just waiting. You're chilling. You're chilling. You have someone that's helping behind the scenes and you don't even know it. Someone could also be watching to wait for the right time to come towards you and make this new offer to you. You know, this, um, new commitment this new beginning this new relationship and charges could be filed so someone's helping behind the scenes because somebody did something that they were trying to cover up and charges literally could be filed against somebody who's doing some illegal shady shit and got caught up somebody was busy multitasking here someone's driving by your house could be stalking you they were acting childish you know they didn't use their intuition a bald spot's hard to cover up, so someone didn't listen to their intuition when they were trying to cover something up. Somebody was pregnant or faked a pregnancy here. They could have gotten good cops, good law officials involved in like a raid or drug bust, so they could have tried to set someone up to get them arrested. They could have made false allegations. They could have tried to maybe get someone to bust down your door, said you were selling drugs out your house or some stupid shit like that. Your ex is fucking, a sh oh god man, you got a lot going on, so like I said, when someone's trying to have a pissing contest with you, it's like fuck you, because you got this shit going on and it looks like you have an ex-spouse involved in this shit too, so whether this ex-spouse is the same person or they're two separate masculines, okay, because you know how you attract the drama, if you're a healer, if you're a light worker, like it just gravitates towards you because everyone wants you to heal them and no one wants to fucking do the work, you know what I'm saying? It's like that saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. It's like everyone wants the good shit, but they don't want to do the shadow work. They don't want to actually go through the healing process. They just want you to wave a magic wand, do a spell, you know, put their name in a jar, light a candle for them or some, you know, I don't want to say stupid shit. It is legit stuff. I mean, I, you know, I don't need to be disrespectful, so I apologize. That's not what I meant. You know, I like candles too. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying it's like they want you to do something good for them, bless them, do whatever, say a prayer for them. You know, and it's like they want to be healed, but they don't want to have to put any work in. It's like they want their cake and eat it, too. It's like they want you in a third party, uh, but they can't be divided between you and, you know, trying to put you in a situation, putting someone else in a situation. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not how this shit works. If you want a high priestess, you have to be single to be with them because, excuse me, 
you can try this third party shit out. If this high priestess is single, you know, whatever. But if you are consciously the one that's making the decision to do some shady shit and then you receive karma for it, or you start playing games with this person and they fucking cut you off, it's like, okay, well, maybe this person just wanted to, you know, needed some sex, whatever. It's like you came on to them. You're the one that's making the bad decision. You know, we've had it come out in a couple readings, where, you know, whatever is going on. Okay, so this person, this high priestess is like, you know what? No, 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 no. This is affecting me. It's affecting my work. It's affecting, you know, my energy. Um, it's affecting my ability to heal. You're just, you're just doing too much. And you know what? Like, you, you're not balanced. Like, I'm grounded. You're not grounded kind of thing. Like... And this isn't working out, and so someone's not happy about that. So someone started acting childish. One or both of these people, if there's multiple people involved in this, they were part of a secret society, religious group, or cult. Shocker, right? Someone has no shame. They're not, they're unapologetic. They're not sorry for what they did. Up your spiritual protection. Grab your moon water, grab your black salt, light a candle, whatever you got to do. You know, sprinkle some salt, say your prayers, read some psalms, do what you got to do. Up your protection, burn some sage, burn some pine cones, whatever it is you do, whatever your practices is. Um, you know, up your protection. Because someone's playing too much. They're just playing too much. They were under an illusion. They were trying to cause an illusion for you. You're under an illusion in the reverse. This whole group, this cult bullshit, they were trying to create an illusion. Like, all this bad shit's happening because of the bad choices you make. No, motherfucker. Y'all keep going to this high priestess and dragging her into shit or him into shit. And they're done playing your shit. They learn their lessons. That's why they're cutting all you fuckers off. That's why they spend time alone. That's why they're in hermit mode all the time. Stop playing games, because they're not the ones that need to be sorry. Y'all have a lot of apologies to be issuing out, okay? And it looks like y'all need to start writing some checks, because it looks like you owe this person some money, too. They're trying to make you paranoid, this group, this bullshit. They're trying to scare you. They're trying to make you paranoid. They're trying to make you look like you're fucking crazy. They're crazy. You're, in the, you're just... Ugh. You're over it, man. You're just over it. There was an investigation. I told you. They created an illusion with an investigation. They tried to get someone to bust down your door and shit. They ended up being confused. They're confused. Why didn't this work? Why didn't they bust this person's door down? Why didn't they come in with the drug-sniffing dogs? There's no evidence that this person is doing any of that crazy shit, you dumbass. Be patient. Wait a little longer. I know you've heard that so many times. It's all in divine timing. Just be still. Those very first cards, still patience, stillness and patience, that Aquarius energy, be still, be still. Don't, don't make a hasty decision. Someone's trying to make you paranoid and make you rush to make a decision that would go against what you're being divinely led to do. Do not go against your instincts. Do not go against the divine because the divine is why you're still here. It's how you've been able to heal. It's why you're able to heal others. That's why you have your spiritual gifts. Don't fuck around and find out with your spirituality. You know, do what you need to do. You know, don't, you know, protect yourself and do your return to sender. All the shit that people are sending towards you, send that shit right back. Say it, think it, do whatever you do. However you do your return to senders, whatever you got to do, do it. Because you know what? That's not hexing and cursing someone. It's protecting yourself. You need to up your spiritual protection. Because they're on some bullshit. Let the games begin. I heard someone say, let the games begin. I got your ass, motherfucker. I, I swear to God, I just saw someone grab like five candles. Like, I got your ass, bitch. <laughs> I'm seeing someone carb names in the slides of Oh yeah, like I got your ass. Like, do you? Do you? You know, do what you got to do. But you know, you you have the gifts you have for a reason. You're blessed for a reason. You chose this path for a reason. Whether you're spiritual or religious, you know, maybe you just need to light a candle, say a prayer to God, Jesus, you know, Divine Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Whatever you got to do, okay. Whatever it is you do, this is a collective read. We are all not on the exact same belief systems. We all have different practices. It doesn't mean they're all right or they're all wrong to each their own. Okay? There's a little bit of truth into everything. All right? But whatever you got to do, do it. But I just... <laughs> I 
swear as soon as I blinked, I saw just a, like a hand grabbing like five like long skinny, you know, like those little candles, like they put in those little tiny candle holders, those like long tiny skinny ones, not not the fatter prayer ones like I got going, um, but like they're little really skinny ones, I don't know if they have a name or whatever, but I just saw someone grab like five of those bitches, <laughs> like, I got you your number, I got your ass, like, <clears throat> And it's not funny, but it is. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll show you. And you, and, and you know what? That's, mm-hmm. There's some people that have some karma coming back. Because, you know what? Someone's going to be crying, and it's not going to be you. Even if you do cry, you cry for like a minute. Okay, someone who's a dime a dozen, you know, so common, so cheap. They're not anything special. They're crying, maybe because they're not... Um, you know, special, or maybe because they chose someone who wasn't special, you know, maybe you were special, you were a treasure, they didn't value you, and now someone's crying, um, you know, because they're just a common, you know, king of wands in the reverse energy, it's like they just fucked around and found out they wanted just sex, they didn't want to commit to you, or someone's just a dime a dozen thief, common everyday thief, you know, if they're trying to set you up, if your ex-spouse is trying to set you up for some reason, for some bullshit on some drug charges or some crazy shit to have people busting in your door and shit, what happens if your kids are there, if you got kids and stuff, like, does this sick son of a bitch think about that shit when they're making these allegations? I mean, really? Do they really care about your kids if they're making all these allegations against you, if you have children with this person? No, they don't give a fuck. Balance is going to be restored. Libra and Aries could be significant. Someone's going to court. Birds of a feather flock together. Scorpio. Leo. And March. So those could all be significant here for the different people, different dates involved. Someone's chopping at the bit in March. A Virgo in February. Someone did something. It's like they're playing with fire, man. They're not... <laughs> Someone is trying to control you. Someone wants you under his or her thumb. Someone wants to control you, how you live. They're trying to get control of a situation. They're they're losing their shit, man. Lose their temper, losing their head. So someone lost control, or they're losing control, and they're snapping. They're throwing a, a fit, a temper tantrum here. And then I had Capricorn here on the top, you know. So there's Capricorn could be significant. You're going forward. These came out sideways, except Aries. So Aries, but I'm going to read those last. Um, so you're going forward. You're held in high honor here. You're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. Um, regarding a Gemini and a Sagittarius, this could be a situation involving them, or they, you know, this could be you and an Aries, okay? So if there's a situation... Um, and Aries, so you could have Aries in your birth chart, you could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, so March could be very significant here, um, and we're in March, so, um, luck is on your side, and people really shouldn't be fucking with you if you have Aries anywhere in your chart right now, and I'm telling you, <laughs> like, the wrath of God is about to rain down on some of these people if you have Aries in your chart right now, oh, that's all I'm saying. There's a Gemini and Sagittarius who's gonna wish that they hadn't fucked with an Aries, that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Alright, we're going to close. Yeah. They're going to wish they didn't fuck around and find out. Because there's a Gemini and Sagittarius. Um, you know, this could be father, son. Um, you know, father of your child. You know, like, your children could be any of these signs. If you have children with this person as well, so keep that in mind. P could be significant. So person, place, or thing. Someone done fucked up. V... F N was that V P F N isn't it, or V P N isn't that something to do with the internet or an internet connection something like that or like when you connect to something involving the internet Y A Faye could be significant, um, for some of you who 
you know, um, do some of the other spiritual practices. Some of you may work with Fay, like F A E um, or F A Y E, like the Fay folk. Um, yeah, someone's ass is in trouble, man. Someone's ass is in big, big trouble. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our fairies, you work with fairies, man. Ooh, fairies could be significant. Another Y. Ooh, a fairy ring could be significant. Someone could. Ooh. A. So someone's name could be Ray. So we have Fay and Ray, so that could be significant. And also maybe your name rhymes with something. Um, Fay Ray could be significant. W. Or you could just, you know, your your name and someone else's name may rhyme. That could be significant as well. We. So there's something significant about two rhyming names and being together and we. So that could be significant maybe into a new partnership that's coming. You. And E. So there's definitely something significant about a, a connection, possibly like a phone connection, an internet connection, two rhyming names, whether this is someone that you're in conflict with or someone that's coming towards you. And then we have we and you and E. And that could also have something to do with, there's something that may have to do with rhyming with like your protection spells. If you do protection spells, something like that, or your return to senders or whatever you do, um, there's something significant about something rhyming in this okay um and so whatever that means to you if it applies to you if it doesn't you know that part it doesn't have to but you know for some of you the rhyming aspect of something may be very significant with together and a couple of something so there's two of something um, maybe you have twins okay um something like that um all right so i hope this helps have a good day